My name is Lee Min and I'm 42 years old and this is my son. My name is Matthias Tam and I'm 14 years old. Matthias actually contracted fire. That's a three round infection related epilepsy syndrome when he was nine years old. He was barely hit by the refractory epilepsy that regressed him to a mental age of seven years old. He was a normal, healthy, um, high functioning child who has really good, great dreams to achieve what he wants. He actually um, started having seizures in school where the teachers thought that he's having playing a fool of himself. He sees again in the eyes uh, in the A and E, but he, he couldn't able to wake up from it. He was in coma for a month, and after that, when they realized that they can extubate him, then he started rehabilitating. Just actually helped Matthias to regain basic activities of daily living. After extubation, he is literally like a newborn baby. He's very soft. He has no neck control. Basically, there's no control anywhere. He's still on diapers. So Jashin actually get a special wheelchair to tilt him like 45 degrees with his neck support. I can push him in the garden, so at least I can talk to him to show him where is the flowers, the bees, the butterflies. But um, I'm not sure whether he can understand. Initially when he was inpatient, he, she sees him every day without fail. And there was once I remember on a Saturday when she shouldn't be seeing inpatient. She, she actually came, so I was surprised. Because Matthias couldn't eat um, and doesn't want people to go near his mouth, so uh, she, she actually taught us the skill of uh, you know getting some water in. It's from there then we started to practice after she left the room. <laughs> when he got better, Jashen focused on his executive functioning skills such as self-control, focus, and working memory. We see a lot of improvement on Matthias over the time. She actually um, looked into parents as a caregiver, mental health, how am I coping? And this is a very important part which I feel I appreciate a lot. I didn't dare to step out, so actually I always tell Jashen, people will stare at me, will stare at him. She will encourage me greatly and, and still give me space to think about it. If Jashen give me, uh, teach me, you know, to be thick skin, to let him how to order from a McDonald's machine. Why do you like to order at McDonald's? Like spicy. <laughs> I like spicy food. For the patient that I've seen, I think it's really doing a bit more for the family, for the parents, and really meeting the demands of, of uh, Matthias. Every single session that we, we see him, because I think working with mom is, is very, very important. There's two that are very specific that we always keep in our heart. Uh, Jasha actually lift Matthias up uh, so that we could hug him when he was just estimated. She actually asked us in the ICU that, uh, Mommy, do you want to hug him? So we are surprised we asked her back, Can I? Because um, during the coma phase, we are told not to touch the child. We only can play music for him. We don't even know that if he's listening. So when she actually helped to adjust Matthias, all the cables, everything, and make him sit up with, with his very soft body and support him, my husband and I could actually hug him. So we are very, very, very touched. This is a very, very uh, special moment at that time because we did not get to hug him when he was situated. The second um, very touching moment was when he was out of coma, um, when Jashen was rehabilitating him on how to stand. So Jashen actually announced that, Mommy, Matthias can stand on his own. So it, it, it actually gave us some hope because initially I was feeling like, maybe it's going to take a six month to rehab him. We actually were very, very surprised that he could actually stand maybe about eight or nine days after his extubation. I am more able to control myself better now. I feel um, with the support from the occupational therapist, I'm able to see things a bit in a different angle after being a special needs mom. Of course, there are days that are really, really bad that we, I take things slower. It definitely does help to keep myself in check to make sure I'm doing the right thing for my clients as well at home. Um, I think traditionally as OTs, we work with the client directly a lot. But in pediatric settings, I think we tend to do a lot more of collaborative work with the parents, with the caregivers. And sometimes we also work with siblings. So then this is where we kind of really look at the, the family dynamics and see how we can actually help the patient, which is help the clients to get back to his routines, also to transiting back to school and also helping him 
to cope with the new dynamics at home. Because for him, I think it was a big change. Um, a very big thank you to Jia Xuan for helping Matthias since he was in coma. Jia Xuan always also always shows concern to my well-being as a caregiver. He touches us a place that where you can actually offload our stress to her, how we are coping, not just with Matthias as well as a family as a whole. Very very big thank you. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs>